Good morning and welcome to Morning Markets. It's Thursday the 30th of November. Today we're going to be talking about European inflation and the positive trends that we continue to see. Just over 12 months ago, we saw German inflation spike to a a peak level of 11.6%. Since then, it's been trending down uh, quite sharply, and that's really encouraging. Why we saw high energy prices last year was very much due to higher energy prices and demand supply imbalances still working their way through in a post-COVID world. But yesterday, we saw inflation, the latest inflation report, coming at 3.2% year on year, falling from 3.8% in the previous month and very much getting close to that 2% inflation target. Why is that happening? Well, we've seen higher interest rates uh, globally, but in Europe as well. Since the middle of last summer, interest rates have gone from 0% to 4.5%. And that's taken its toll on slower consumer demand and helping to bring down inflation. If we look at the drivers, the main driver of lower inflation this month it was very much similar to previous months. It's due to base effects where the month, the higher month on month prints uh, in previous months has started to roll out of the measurement period. So that's a, a big tailwind. But then if we look at the in underlying components, we've seen lower energy prices come through, but also price cuts in Uh, hospitality, leisure and entertainment, but also we've seen uh, other uh, sectors see lower prices, which is encouraging. If we look elsewhere, France reported this morning uh, and Spain yesterday, again like Germany, inflation falling lower, but below analyst expectations. So France came in at 3.4% and Spain at 3.2%. So the data is suggesting that broader Europe can see inflation get close to 2% by the second quarter of next year, which will be a big boost for the region and the consumer. Other good news for Germany uh, was retail sales. So retail sales have been negative for the last five months. but The most recent print has actually shown a positive reading of 1.1% higher than expected so the consumer is starting to spend after a a difficult period which should be supportive for broader Germany. What investors will be focusing on today will be US inflation. Like Europe, US inflation has been trending lower and more recently been coming in below analyst expectations which has really supported the US government bond market more recently but also equities in general. What we're expecting today is for inflation to keep falling from 3.4% to 3.1%. Markets will also be focusing on core inflation, strips out energy, strips out food, uh, and is more stickier. That's expected to drop as well from 37 to 3.5%. Any reading below this will be uh, a real positive for bond markets and should be supportive for equities as well. So we'll keep you up to date. That's everything from us today. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.